Welcome to the Nicholas 11 X12 technology. Today we're looking at the Corsair Builder Series CX600 AD Plus Bronze Budget Power Supply. This new series basically replaces the previous V2 versions of the CX series power supplies. Alright, here's the box. It's very shiny and reflective due to the plastic. I'll quickly remove it so we can see the box alone. There we go, again this is the Corsair CX Series CX600 ATX power supply, so 600 watts of power is offered. Down here as you can see it's ERP ready, comes with a 3 year warranty and is 80 plus bronze certified. The previous years was only 80 plus certified, so this PSU should be more efficient. On the back of the box you get lots of information on the performance and connections. This box actually looks very professional if that matters. The V2 versions were just standard uncolored cardboard boxes. But now let's open this box up and see what's inside. There we go, here we have a Corsair warranty guide. The Corsair important safety information booklet. The power cord. Zip ties. And 4 screws to mount your PCU into the case, very nice. And last but not least, the power supply unit itself protected. Now let's get it out of here real quick. Here it is. The first impression actually is very good and it seems to come with a decent amount of connectors. Let's start with the fan. We're talking of a 120mm fan, which will cool down the PSU. As always there's a very nice Corsa logo and I like that. Once you install the unit into your case, it could look like that. You see the Corsair CX600 label on there. That's how it looks like when the PCU is bottom mounted. But if you have a case where the power supply has to be mounted on top, it also shows the right labels. It's good that Corsair thought of this. On the top of the PCU is another label, which is more important though, important specifications. This PCU has a single plus 12 volt rail. On the plus 3.3 and plus 5 volt rails there are 25 amps and the combined wattage would be 130 watts. The plus 12 volt rail offers 46 amps and a wattage of 522 watts and that's not bad at all for the price. On the rear of the PCU there are honeycomb holes for ventilation. Then there's the standard sized power switch and the power connection. But let's move on to the cable mess here. Alright, let's start with this one. This is the 24 pin power connector. The 4 plus 4 pin, so 8 pin ATX 12 volt power connector. The 2 PCI Express 6 plus 2 pin, so 8 pin connectors. The 4 Molex connectors. And 1 floppy connector. 3 SATA connectors. And 1 more cable with 3 SATA connectors. So altogether there are 6 SATA connectors. I'm repeating, one 20 plus 4 pin power connector, one 4 plus 4 pin ATX 12 volt power connector, two PCIe 6 plus 2 pin power connectors, four Molex connectors, six SATA connectors, and last but not least a single floppy connector. The cables itself are nylon sleeved and the sleeving is done pretty good. Of course it's not very good, but for the price Corsa did a good job here. Next I'd like to show you the cable length. Let's start with the 24 pin power connector. This is the ATX 12 volt 8 pin power connector. The two PCIe 6 plus 2 pin power connectors. The first SATA cable. The second SATA cable. And the long cable with the Molex connectors with a single floppy connector. The cable length is not bad at all. These are not the longest ones, but for mid towers it should be more than long enough. It should even work out for big tower cases, of course not every single cable. But let's move on to the specifications. The Corsair Builder Series CX600 AD Plus Bronze Power Supply offers 600 watts of power and as the name already tells us, it's AD Plus Bronze certified. To cool this unit down, a 120mm fan is used and an active PFC, so power factor correction is present here. This unit allows an input of about 92 264 volts and comes with over voltage, under voltage, over current and short circuit protections. This power supply has a single plus 12 volt rail, 
and at max you get 46 amps which result in 522 watts of power on the plus 12 volt rail. The plus 3.3 and plus 5 volt rails both have 25 amps and have a maximum combined wattage of 130 watts. So let's do some testing. As you can see here I have my paper clip and we'll see how many volts actually go through the different rails. Now let's turn this unit on and the fan is already spinning. Right now on low PCU load the fan is very silent and spins at a low RPM. But once you put more load onto this PCU the fan will ramp up and will of course get louder. But in most cases I'd say it belongs more to the silent power supply units. On the multimeter you will see how many volts actually go through the rails. I'm going to start with the plus 12 volt rail. And as you can see I get stable 12.32 volts which is pretty good. You don't want the voltage to be too low like 11.90 or so but also not too high like 12.6 or 8. On the plus 5 volt rail I get 4.95 volts. That's not too bad however it's the plus 5 volt rail. So I'd really like to see like 5.05 volts or so here. But 4.95 aren't that bad either. You have to keep in mind the voltage can be a little different once the power supply unit actually has higher load on it like a turned on PC for example. On the plus 3.3 volt rail I get 3.31 volts which is perfect. And on the negative 12 volt rail, so minus 12 volt, I get minus 11.22 volts, which is okay. So overall it delivers the promised voltage and I can't really complain. The plus 5 volt rail wasn't as good as the rest, but it was very acceptable. So the Corsair Builder Series CX 680 plus bronze power supply is a really good choice for a budget builder as it delivers great performance and power for a fairly low price. We're talking of a 600 watt power supply. 522 watts on the plus 12 volt rail is not bad at all actually and for the average PC, also the average gaming PC, this PSU should do the job just fine. The voltage also seems to be okay, the fan also isn't loud and the aesthetics also aren't that bad if that matters of course. So long story short, buy this power supply if you're looking for a cheap 600 watt PSU but still want good efficiency. This unit is 80 plus bronze certified, so that's not too bad. Corsa did a great job replacing the previous generation V2 version with this 80 plus bronze one for the exact same price. Pros are great price performance ratio, great design, the PSU is silent, has long cables, which are nylon braided and last but not least it's 80 plus bronze certified. For the cons I can only say the voltage doesn't go over 5 volts on the plus 5 volt rail. And that's why I give it a 9 out of 10 but I would definitely recommend this power supply for the average PC. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.